Hello Simon. Now if you saw my video on Saturday you will know that Oxtweet has launched. For those of you who don't know, Oxtweet is a project where Oxford students tweet about their lives. Since launching on Sunday we've had really good feedback not only from the university itself but from the student press and from actual Oxford students. And of course we are slowly accumulating more of you guys who are interested to know what it is that we get up to. In addition the actual Oxtweet team has grown from the eight that were initially on the project. In fact the number of students on the list now is so large that I need a list to be able to tell you all of the people that are actually involved. So we have our Archaeology and Anthropology, Maths, Medicine, Biomedical Science, Engineering, English, PPE, History, Fine Art, Computer Science, Physics, Biology, Languages, Classics and Law. If a subject you would like to know about was not on that list, please post in the comments below and I will get on tracking down or seeing if someone volunteers to be the tweeter for you. Now when I last left you, I was going to a birthday party on Friday at the Ashmolean that one of my friends had organised. Now this is what the Ashmolean looks like and this is what the inside looks like. The event was brilliantly organised and very informative and extremely fun, so congratulations and a shout out to my friend Patrick, whose birthday it was and who was the guy heading this whole operation. If anyone has been following me on Twitter, they would have known that this week has been particularly hectic with numerous deadlines and numerous very late or extremely early library sessions. For instance, I was in the library at 5.30. Today, I've been up for 13 hours so far and it's only six. Gotta say, it's not really a day in the life of an Oxford student, it's just that recently I've been kind of busy and um, that just seems to be how things are going at the moment. But the good thing is, that means I have loads to tell you guys about. So, there was a general meeting on Sunday, which is where everybody in your JCR gathers around, they vote on motions that they would like pass, and they discuss issues that are of concern to the JCR itself. Now I'm vice president, so I had to go there and do vice presidential things, like counting hands, and seeing if things that were said were in line with our constitution. Yes, we have a constitution which is actually longer than the United States constitution and it outlines the remit of the JCR and its objective. Now I won't go through the days in detail, I'll just skim over some of the highlights. For instance, I had a job interview on Monday. On Tuesday I had a tutorial for international relations along with some lectures in poll theory that were extremely interesting. I say they're extremely interesting. Off the top of my head, I literally can't remember what they were on. Right, I'll check my lecture notes. What? Where are my lecture notes? Oh my god. Um, I literally can't remember so bad. Oh, oh, I guess that shows you that we aren't all perfect here at Oxford, are we? We um, forget things as well. And then I had a couple more meetings and then Wednesday rolled around and this is when things started to get slightly stressful. So at the moment in my college we're trying to decide where we want to live next year and this is called the room ballot process. Now as VP it's my job to organise the room ballot itself. So when people go coordinating with any problems that people have, concerns, whether they be welfare or just, ah, I literally have no idea to pick. So that has been burdening my year group for the past two days. And then next week we'll have the fourth years and then the freshers will pick their rooms. Now I'm going through the days that just happened, but to be honest, I'm looking at my calendar and remembering that the poll theory lecture was on Tuesday, that it was two days ago, it was two days ago. It seems as though it was just a moment ago. All of these days have essentially blurred into one and that's because in between all of this stuff if you've been following me on twitter you may have noticed that i've just been writing work doing essays or hanging out with my friends and i guess the hanging out with my friends element is probably one that i don't think you guys are interested in but it does happen so i just want to mention that like my friends all just like live down there down the corridor so if i ever want to go see them if i want to go hang out play board games just chill chat or whatever that's where I go, or I go visit other friends in other colleges, or I go visit other friends within my college. So that's something, the social element. For instance, today, after filming and editing this, I'm going for dinner because the digital marketing competition that I was in last term, if you remember Discount Ducks, if, if anyone knows about that, we won. So we're going to celebrate because we won enough money to pay for a dinner for our team. So that's fantastic. I hope that was a sufficient update, and now I'm going to come on to your question, Simon, about which university lecturer is my favourite and why? Now, first of all, I have to confess that as a humanities student, I don't really go to lectures because they aren't compulsory to my course. I just go to the ones that I think are kind of interesting or I can be bothered to get up for. So at first I thought I would struggle with answering your question, but then I immediately thought of the lecturer who took the China politics lectures last term and she was unbelievably fantastic. She was enthusiastic, she was charismatic, she was American which is added to the gravitas that she had in the room. We stayed for 30 minutes after the lectures just to listen to her because of the continued golden nuggets that she was just coming up with and just overall she was just brilliant and her handouts were brilliant and her powerpoints were brilliant because she just made you love the subject. So there you go, she was my favourite lecturer and that is why. So now I gotta think of a question for you. Hmm. What has been your favourite part of the university experience so far? 
and why. Remember, if you have any questions for us or any comments, please leave them down there. Also, I'll leave the details for the Ox tweet and all of the people who are currently participating in it in the description below for you guys to click at. I will see you on Sunday, Simon. Goodbye.